Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services and I'd like to talk to you about this Mac. It is a 27 inch uh, iMac and uh, it has a weird problem where it would work for a few minutes and then the screen would go blank. Um, if you restart it would work again and screen would go blank. Um, my first uh, thinking in this uh, is that the system is overheating something here is overheating so the first thing to check was to see if the fan main cooling fan the CPU cooling fan is not plugged up with dust and that it actually works I should note that this fan goes really high on RPMs before the system dies so I thought it must have been a plug between the radiators of the motherboard and the fan so dust would be plugged up in there. So let's take a look. I have the motherboard pre-disassembled and uh, let's see if that's actually the case. Got everything pulled out. So, as I can see, there isn't much dust in there, there isn't much dust in here, so that's not the case. So let's take a look at what else could be wrong here. I should note that um, it's not the first time that I'm uh, checking this computer out and I already have found out what's going on so took me a while uh, as I was uh, checking this computer I noticed that this part was really hot I mean really hot like uh, iron but this part wasn't as opposed to the CPU this is the graphics card the CPU was warm here and it was warm here so that led me to believe that somehow this is not being cooled off. So what I did was I've uh, taken this whole thing apart, took it, took a look at it, couldn't find anything. But <clears throat> as I was taking this whole thing apart, um, well, thinking maybe there was a dust plug or something in there that wasn't allowing this to be cooled, I did notice a small spot over here, but I thought that was a manufacturing process. So it took me a little bit to find out. Um, on my second disassembly, I have uh, taken a closer look at this spot. And if you can see, the camera is fairly good on uh, the focusing. There is actually a tiny hole right there. Let's see if we can bring it any closer. All right, there you go. Oh, let's do it anymore. Up. Oh, can't do that. Okay, there you go. Um, so what I have noticed or noted is that this has liquid inside and through this tiny hole all of the liquid has evaporated so in fact this whole apparatus is not doing its job not only it's not doing it improperly it's not doing it at all there is no circulation of the liquid inside the uh, antifreeze so to speak like in a car so uh, this particular problem in a computer was caused by mechanical failure uh, where um, the actual radiator assembly has failed and uh, this would be a manufacturer's defect however this computer is a few years old and uh, cannot take it back to the manufacturer plus you can't prove anything so here you have it people hopefully this helps somebody isolate the problem that they may have with their machines uh, where 
it seems like overheating but you cannot find the reason for it so there you have it thank you for watching